Okay, here it is. This is my 4x8 um, solar heater or sun heater. It's uh, The sun's peeking out there really good. And the nice thing about this one is it's, um, it's actually 100%, at least internally, made from those aluminum pie pans. I got a deal at those at uh, Sam's Club for... Um, they were like six dollars for 30 of them and I believe this is 32 right now I'm being blinded by the Sun behind me so I can't really see exactly what I'm looking at here but there's 32 of them and I wanted I didn't really want to put holes in my house or anything so essentially I funneled these into um, the window I ducted them into the window with some dryer vent and then I insulated the dryer vent and uh, I put a piece of plywood in the window so I can pull the window up and down and uh, the uh, the vent will be exposed and they're open right now that this is the uh, this is the cold air that's uh, going out and then actually cold goes to the bottom of the unit so it's it's right down there at the very bottom uh, of the unit and uh, appears to be working well like it's a uh, quarter after 10 or so in the morning so we still have a lot of sun to go uh, for the day it's six degrees outside so very very cold bitter cold the wind chill is um, even a lot colder than that um, you can hear the fan running on, in the, on the inside of the house and this the heater um, portion comes off the top right here And it's, you can kind of get a good look at that. Now, if you were to look um, straight on, you can kind of see that um, there's a hole right there. I think it's a four inch duct for the dryer vent. I'm not real sure. I got a temperature gauge. Um, it's right here. It's hard to read from here. I read it mostly from inside the house. But when I walked outside of the house, it was 125 degrees coming inside so on a six degree day got 125 degree heat coming inside the house now the uh, deficiencies of this unit are that this is just plastic thin plastic I think if you put a sh plastic sheathing on there um, going to save even more energy and uh, you know it's made with one by four OSB plywood painted black of course like all the other heaters you see on the internet are and uh, it's just kind of tied off to the house and sitting here on this uh, plastic bin and uh, forgive me if the uh, if the uh, pictures aren't real good because I'm actually literally being blinded by the Sun out here but uh, it's very simple construction very easy to put together if you're you know semi handy even and uh, so I'm going to take a walk around the house and uh, go inside and just show you how the inside looks in unit. I'm expecting that the temperature is probably increased by now. So I'm going to take a quick walk around. Like I said, it's... It's uh, really cold out here, it's 5-6 degrees, I'm on the shady side of the house now, and we're in Michigan here, a little town called Ypsilanti, which is uh, near Ann Arbor, it's pretty far north, um, house is a bit messy, but I'll show you what I got here. Okay, what we have is this uh, goofy looking thing. This has a couple of 12 volt uh, fans hooked to it. 12 volt computer fans and I just did this to kind of funnel out the air and get it in there. Just some cheap way to, to put that together. And uh, again this is the plywood is in the window so if you roll down the window it's seals it off completely it's a bit of an older window so I wasn't overly concerned about too much with it 
Um, then over here, the other side, the heat side, I have to talk a little louder because I um, I changed over a, dry, uh, um, a hair dryer motor to a 12 volt system, put it on a transformer right there, and um, and it's really cranking out the heat. You can actually, I made it like into a funnel. You can actually take this little funnel out. And I close the window. And uh, when you're ready, put it back in. It's not ideal or optimal necessarily. But I wanted to do it for testing purposes to see how this unit would work for myself. So the 4x8 unit and the temperature that we've got right now is, it looks like 100 going on 130 degrees to see it outside that temperature gauge um, and I expect that it get you know maybe 10 perhaps even 20 degrees warmer the whole unit probably cost me the whole unit probably cost uh, uh, gosh six dollars for the aluminum things ten dollars for the for the plywood and uh, four or five dollars for the one by four I had the plastic laying around so we're talking under thirty dollars, really, and I found these computer fans and, and whatnot. Spray paint, a couple dollars at uh, um, at Lowe's. I got the ninety-six cent gloss black paint. And uh, one um, word of warning for something like that is that you want to give it a couple days to dry because you can get all those fumes in your house. You might even take a little longer than a few days before you start pushing the air into your house as well, too. But very very efficient. I noticed I've run these for several days. I've noticed that um, in running them, I'm um, get a decent sunny day like today. That um, the heat will, sh I, I won't need to run it for the whole day. This will heat up my entire house almost 1500 square feet. Um, so, pretty good for $30. And you know, every area is different, but I found that. Uh, in Michigan, in this, in this area, um, an average for the cold months includes um, October, November, December, January, February, a little bit of March um, as well. Maybe, you know, about half a year perhaps. About 40% of the days have a good amount of sunshine. So there's a lot of days that you can use, really use something like this. It's not, not just a novelty as I originally thought. So that's about it. Um, you know, pretty good sunny day here. Uh, unexpectedly took me by surprise I wasn't expecting sun it's calling for mostly cloudy today but um, you know it's a good surprise always I just I pull open my windows and um, run this thing I also have a couple of uh, units that I have that are inside windows but they're not as efficient and don't pull in as much heat of course they're not as big this one's a good one and just wanted to um, show you show y'all how I've made it um, like I said, aluminum pie pans, really the answer. And instead of buying a bunch of expensive aluminum or collecting a bunch of uh, cans, um, they're built in such a way, or they're made in such a way, they're almost like a collector. Um, just like a dish system for TV or, or anything like that. Um, so, anyway, that's it. Hopefully um, this helps a lot of people to uh, be able to heat their houses for a lot less money. If you're having an exceptionally cold cold winter it seems and i uh, hope you like it if you have any questions please post them online and i'll get to them as soon as i can thank you